Erection Procedure for Storage Tank at Site Shell Plate Erection Erection of top two shell courses by conventional method and balance course by jack-up method. After the completion of welding of annular plates, mark the tank inner radius on the annular plates. Fix the required number of erection stools, around 450 to 500 mm height, at an equal interval on the annular plates and transfer the inside tank diameter on the stools. Mark the starting point of the second top shell course vertical seam, as per the approved drawing. The rolled shell plates shall be shifted to the tank foundation area and kept along the periphery. Erect the second top shell course on the chairs placed on the annular plate and taking care to match inner diameter. Proper jigs and fixtures shall be used to align the shell plates. All vertical shell joints fit up shall be made barring the final joint. Make up plate joint which shall be fitted up only after completion of other vertical joints to take care of shrinkages during welding and ensuring correct circumference. After completing fit up of vertical joints, inspection shall be carried out as per an approved ITP. Upon clearance, all joints shall be welded from first side by using qualified welders. Care shall be taken during welding to avoid distortion. Well joint details. After completion of one side welding, back chip shall be carried out up to sound metal from other side by grinding. Back chipped grooves shall be inspected thoroughly for any defect before starting the welding. Subsequently, inside welding shall be completed using qualified welders. Peaking check shall again be carried out to ensure that the curvature of tank is well within the specified limits as per the code. Joint numbers and welder numbers shall be marked on weld joints. After the completion of welding from both sides, all temporary jigs and fixtures shall be removed, and flush grinding shall be carried out, to maintain evenness and smoothness of tank shell. Peaking, plumbness, circumference and radius shall be checked, as per approved ITP and API 650 code guidelines. Erect the first top shell course plates, on top of the second top shell course plates, by staggering the vertical seam, as shown in the drawing. 3 mm thick spacer shall be, kept between first and second top shell course plates, to maintain horizontal seam gap. Proper erection channel shall be provided at, regular intervals from and side. After all the shell plates for first top shell course are erected in place, align the vertical seam joint and tack weld the seam. Proper jigs and fixtures shall be used to align the shell plates. Horizontal seam between first two shell courses shall be aligned and tack welded. All spaces provided during erection shall be aligned and tack welds shall be ground smooth. It shall be ensured that tack welds are free of defects like cracks, porosity etc. Welding of shell plates shall be done 
as stated on 4.3.8 and 4.3.9. Check the plumbness of the shell course, at every 3 meter interval, on circumference and keep the shell, in perfectly vertical position, while welding the first and second top shell course. Check the peaking, at vertical joints and, the banding at horizontal joints of shell, using a sweep board of, 1 meter length. Top angle, wind girders, stairway structure, foam chamber, cooling water and foam system pipe supports and platform is to be erected, wherever required on the shell, as per approved drawing and, complete the welding successively, before the erection of the next shell courses. Once the above activities are completed, the tank is ready for jacking up. Hydraulic jacking system shall be installed at the distance between the jacks, shall not exceed 3.5 meter. Lifting lugs shall be fitted to the tank shell inside, at every position where a jack is to be installed. After the lifting operation, the lifting lugs shall be removed, without damaging the base metal. Power pack shall be connected at the total system, shall be checked for its readiness for lifting of the shell. Jacking lifting cleats shall be installed on bottom shell course. The tank shall then be lifted, up to a height equal to stool height, plus shell course width, plus 80 mm clear distance to have clear access, to erect third shell course and the said shell course shall then be erected and welded, using the same sequence as narrated above. After completion of the vertical welding of third shell course, jacks shall be lowered down by 50 mm to 80 mm, to facilitate the fit up of second and third shell courses. Spaces of suitable size shall be kept between third and second shell from top to maintain the horizontal joint gap. After the completion of all the shell course, the plumbness of complete tank, shall be checked as per API 650. Shell course closure shall be erected and both the vertical seam welding shall be completed first before tack welding horizontal seams. Before the erection of the tank closure plate, it shall be ensured that all unwanted materials are removed from inside of tank and the tank bottom is cleaned thoroughly. After completion of both vertical and horizontal seam, bottom shell course to annular plate welding shall be done. The root welding shall be carried out from inside. After completing welding from inside, the weld joint shall be cleaned thoroughly by wire brushing, grinding and buffing, to carry out the chalk dizzle test. If any defect is found, the same shall be repaired by grinding the defective area for the sound metal plus 150 mm from both ends of the defect. Re-welding shall be carried out after removal of defect. After the completion of bottom sketch to annular plate joint fit up, welding shall be carried out. Vacuum box test will be done and if any repair occurs, the same shall be repaired and retested, as per approved procedure. All the QAQC procedure to be followed as per ITP and API 650.